Last year, DJ Kennington raced his way into the Daytona 500 in the Daytona 125 qualifying duels. This year, he's not going to have to worry about that because whether or not the bank repos BK Racing's uh, car, we either have 39 or 40 cars for the Daytona 500. But that doesn't mean his accomplishment will go to waste because this year we are going to race with DJ Kennington here at the Daytona International Speedway in the 2018 update of NASCAR Heat 2 for a 13% no stage race. So 21 laps of straight up competition here at Daytona. Can we get DJ Kennington a win in the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series? Well. Let's find out. All right, ready to go here at Daytona for the closest thing we have to a Daytona duel in this game, a 13% race under the lights for what is essentially the Coke 600, but screw it. We work with what we've got in this game. So in behind Harrison Burton and Chase Carbra, as people have been yelling at me in the comments to pronounce it that way, so we'll try to pronounce it that way. So they're three wide out in front already. We'll move down to the bottom and try to get that slingshot maneuver engaging, which we do all the way underneath a lot of the back of the field. Holy smokes, somebody smoking there. That was a well-timed holy smokes. As we work underneath the next Jeff Gordon, we're already up into the top uh, half of the field here. Very, very nice here on the opening lap. Great lap from DJ Kennington. We may, yes, we will have to pit during this race. 21 laps, only 10 in the fuel tank. Here's a big, uh, another thing I do want to mention is that uh, I forgot to mention, or I just didn't know to mention in the 2018 review of the paint schemes, is that I missed a couple paint schemes because Kevin Harvick and Brad Keselowski have uh, two extra paint schemes, they have the beer wagons. But to get the beer wagons, you have to do the age verification again for some reason. Even though a person who had access to the game, wow, that was close with Austin Dillon there and Trevor Bain on the back straightaway, but uh, yeah. Age verification, if, uh, it's just weird because if you'd already done it and owned the game, you should just get the beer schemes, whatever. We are now working in the middle of the pack here. This is about where DJ Kennington was running in the Daytona 500 when he uh, got taken out by uh, Jimmy the Juggernaut, getting a little over anxious going four wide, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, it'll be interesting if DJ can stay in the race this year. Uh, how high up in the field he can get. He's really, I mean, if you think about how he did in the duel to get into the uh, Daytona 500 last year, he actually drove quite well, staying in the lead pack. And in the Daytona 500, he did the same thing as we get underneath defending champion Kurt Busch. And yes, he is in car 41. Everybody who saw my uh, Project Cars video feel awfully spread out. A couple, uh, a couple of things seem to have happened here early on. Oh, that have really spread the field out quite a bit as we got down the apron a little too much there and lose a bit of ground. So it's kind of interesting that early on here, the field, kind of, I mean, they're kind of spread out, but at the front they're obviously quite packed up. But we're able to get a nice run here on Ryan Newman and Jamie McFlurry going to go underneath. So we had that great run on lap one, and now we are really starting to come through the field. I swear it's on 105% difficulty. So it's possible that DJ Kennington's just using a Toyota and cheating. I think that's maybe what's going on here. I will say this, looking at this back bumper with the Castrol and the Toyota next to each other, some people may know where I'm going with this, but fans of Gran Turismo know Castrol and Toyota. The old Castrol Tom Supra, uh, Gran Turismo 3. Everybody loves that game. But anyway, uh, we are trying to get around the spotter's nightmare here because we've got Paul Menard and Ryan Blaney up here, both in their Menard paint schemes. And let's shove Paul Menard up here. Try to get this spotter's nightmare going. The problem is I'm going to screw my own spotter over doing this, but whatever. A lot of Penske-affiliated cars as well right here. There's Logano, Menard, Blaney. Man, oh man. That You know, it, it doesn't really surprise me, though. Roger Penske would do the F1 thing and bring... Uh, uh, multiple cars with the same paint scheme. Even if they're not technically on the same team, everybody knows the Wood Brothers car is very, very much affiliated with the Penske uh, racing operation. So we are really, really moving up here. We are already ready up into the top 11, trying to break into the top 10 as 
stage winner Martin Truex Jr. working to the outside of us. I suspect when we get to the front though it's going to be a little bit different of a story. Seems like it's always more difficult to make that pass for the lead in this game but we'll see. And obviously holding the lead is going to be in and of itself very difficult. So to the inside of Denny Hamlin. Logano slots in behind us. We'll get in here behind Kyle Busch. Try to send it off. What the heck is Michael McDowell doing up here? That is not the place for you, sir. Oh, keep hitting that apron. I keep cranking the wheel down too much. And that is not helping. Here comes Logano. He's going to get that run on the outside. Bit of a train going on here. We've got the spotter's nightmare behind us. It's Paul Menard. And now three wide underneath Kyle Larson and Kyle Bush. So we'll make it fifth place behind Harvick, Bubba Wallace. A.J. Allmendinger is that up there? I think it is. And uh, Suarez leading the race. So we'll give Harvick a bump draft. We'll try to get this line underneath Suarez. Nope. Uh, I don't know what Wallace is doing up there. He's looking to get behind Suarez. That was not going to work. So into the lead goes A.J. Allmendinger. Wallace is not going to stick his nose underneath Suarez for whatever reason. And we're not going to be able to get around Harvick. Oh, and... Well, I guess we're pitting. That's, uh, that's a decision made for me. So stop one on the day for DJ Kennington as he comes into the pits, getting those, uh, getting two tires, two cans of fuel. This should be a fr fairly short stop despite the fact that the car looks pretty torn up from having that uh, issue coming into the pits. Let's take a look. Oh, well, we've just got a little bit of damage. Just a flesh wound on the front. And we'll come out here not in bad shape, but... I'll tell you what we're going to be in bad shape for. We pitted way earlier than we needed to. Really kind of forced there, but eight, 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 plus 20, uh, 8 plus 11 is 19. That ain't 21. That makes me uh, very nervous because we've got nine cars in front of me that did not pit when everybody else did. But here's the other question. We've got five seconds now on Kevin Harvick with this strategy call shoot we'll just uh, you know bring it into the pits splash and dash coming to the end of the race we may be able to win this thing on strategy but here comes the rest of the field out of the pits but we are already up to speed DJ Kennington going to come into the lead here past Martin Truex Jr. and the crowd goes wild I was going to make a Canadian joke about them being very polite but the, they finally did go wild they finally heard him so here we go DJ Kennington leading at Daytona on pit strategy, but there is the concern on the fuel. Yeah, it, it's we're definitely getting to lap 18, and Martin Truex Jr. is within striking distance three seconds behind. And then there's, of course, the question of whether or not there's going to be a caution which is going to uh, get everybody together here. Lots of questions in the air, but leading right now, kind of surprisingly, I thought we were going to take it or take the lead, you know, on pace. Turns out that didn't happen because we got uh, screwed going into the pit. But at the moment, DJ Kennington is leading here at Daytona. Are we going to predict something here? Are we going to predict something tonight here in Daytona? We're dueling with DJ in the Castro Lord Co. Auto Parts Toyota. Let's take a look on board with DJ. While we're here, you can see the digital dash, 192, going into three and four. We're coming out of turn number four, we'll go to the uh, onboard, do a little bit of a look around, just so we can get that beautiful teal blue, or I guess uh, not teal blue. Uh, somebody, I think somebody said cyan was the color of that. I think that somebody said that in the comments of the bandwagoners guide. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. Uh, this one. Uh, Shane will never ever get a die cast of it unless he wins the Daytona 500 somehow. But, uh, yeah. I would buy the heck out of it. Uh, this this particular paint scheme from DJ Kennington. Uh, I loved it last year. I love it this year. And again, that Castro logo just always looks good on race cars. It doesn't matter where it is, what kind of a race car it's on. It always looks good. So we got Kyle Larson, Martin Truex, Ricky Stenhouse, Kevin Harvick. That is a stout that is a stout amount of drivers and a stout list of drivers as well coming behind us and coming in a hurry because I think they've gotten packed up. We've got 10 laps to go though. 
So, well, I mean, we're halfway through the race, and uh, they will be catching Mr. Kennington relatively click, uh, relatively quickly here, especially if I keep hitting that bloody apron. We're just going to kind of keep it down next to the yellow line here. Can't pass below the yellow line. It's out of bounds. But they are closing and closing fast. Down to a second now. Going to be pretty soon, probably within the next set of corners, one and two, that they will be catching my draft. And then we'll have to race for it again. I think I see the spotter's nightmare as well in the in the rearview mirror. They're all together again, Menard and, and Blaney. So here we go. Five tenths of a second. It's going to be down to four here and just to say, here we go. So now we're going to have to kind of block. And if we can't block, we're just going to have to fall in line behind these guys. We definitely now have a draft from Kyle Larson. And Larson's pulling up behind. We kind of went wide there. Nope, we're going to be able to hold off Larson for now. Sorry, Senpai, I need to win this race. So we'll block multiple lanes of traffic here. will be the Pad Piper from Canada. And Stenhouse is looking around the outside. Larson to the inside. And here comes Stenhouse. We'll move up the track just a little bit. A lot of blue and white cars <laughs> leading this pack right now. Kennington and Stenhouse and Larson all sort of the same shade of blue, kind of a lightish blue. As we've got eight laps to go in the fuel tank. We've got five. That's still not going to get us to the end of the race, I don't think. Stenhouse looking to the outside, trying to get there. Not quite able to. What we are doing, though, is we're holding up this pack for the rest of them to come in behind us. And this is going to get pretty touch and go as soon as this pack gets a little bit more momentum than just two cars. I can kind of hold off two lanes of traffic. If they start getting the three wide, and Blaney and the rest of them catch up, it's going to get very dicey. I'm looking at my mirror way, way more. I'm literally mirror driving. I'm looking in this tiny little mirror trying to hold these guys up. Let's go on board. Let's actually mirror drive. Well, that doesn't help. I'm trying to mirror drive and I can't see. Let's move the move the, move the sight line over. Oh boy. Almost crashed into turn one there. And now the, uh, oh, the nuclear banana has caught up to the back of the field. Here he comes. Looking in the mirror. Stenhouse is looking. Larson looking. I'm just hold. I'm literally holding the stick over so we can see. They're getting a three wide behind. Oh boy. Come on, DJ, you can do it. We believe in you, DJ. Oh, there goes Stenhouse. He's looking. They are looking. Six to go here at Daytona. Car's coming out of the pits. So the pit stops are already occurring once again. We're going to go back to the outside view as much as cool as that inside view is. Okay, so Eric Jones is up in this pack. Blaney's up in this pack. Oh, no, 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 no. That was a mistake. We screwed over Ryan Blaney, but we got the yellow. Well, this is going to be a shootout, boys. It's going to be a shootout. So we don't need tires. We do need repairs. That's going to probably put us at the back. Uh, we don't need two cans of fuel. We'll take one can on, and we'll see where we end up. With well, 13th, that's not too bad. We can work from here. Carbra ahead of us, and that is for position. He's not a lapped car. We do have the spotter's nightmare, I think, up here. No, we don't. We've got one of them behind us and one of them ahead. I assume one of them is Paul Menard. As we go green here with three laps to go at Daytona. So Clint Boyer tried to shove me down underneath the, the yellow line. That's out of bounds, but doesn't matter because we're going to get three wide underneath McDowell and Wallace. And now Brendan gone. IMSA regular. Brendan gone because he's run all the IMSA races so far. Even though there's only been one IMSA race. Uh, yeah, wow, look at the run from the 88 there. Of Bowman. Here, here comes, here's the AI. They weren't racing at the beginning. Now they are. Now they are going for it. Just focus on the Smithfield on the outside. We're going to try to get underneath McDowell and Wallace once again. We're going to try to make that three wide move work. They give it to me. We've got to get Paul Menard past, though. Not going to happen. Everybody's very fast now. Two laps to go. But this is a run. This is a good run into turn one. 
Ooh. The momentum was there. We almost crashed off of McDowell. We didn't. Now down the back straightaway. We get underneath Paul Menard. Gonna have to build that momentum up. I think if I can hook onto the draft of Bowman. Gonna be close here in turn three. We get there, we get to the inside of Menard. Can we get underneath the next Casey Atwood? I don't know. It's gonna be close here. Oh, I thought Paul Menard was gonna drive into the bottom, into me, but we don't have any drafting help because Bowman moved up behind Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch leading the race. Oh, we shouldn't be going with Suarez. We need to dump Suarez through the middle. This didn't work. Oh, this, we're in Kyle Larson situation at <laughs> last year. That was a mistake. That was a big mistake. That's a more of a mistake. Problems. Oh, that's the field, I think. Yep, yellow. That was a savior right there. That was a savior right there. That doesn't make any sense. I guess we're under ARCA rules, so it's going to take us all night to finish this race. But uh, uh, 18th. And we're going to get another two laps shot at this. I guess we'll take tires since we're going to be at the back anyway. We don't need any fuel. Fuel is not going to help us at this point. 34th place. So there are cars laps down, but we're going to need that start that we had and then some. Here we go. Back to racing here at Daytona for DJ Kennington. So two laps to go around the outside of Haley Deegan. Not a lot of real estate out. Well, she's going to put me in the wall. Okay. And Chris Busher puts me in. Well, well, we got a yellow. <laughs> that was that was that was lucky. I, I don't know what, what Deegan was playing at there. I, I do not know. That was very, very strange. The Benedetto gets back on the lead lap, but he's way back in the pack, so it doesn't look like he'll be a factor. So we got Chris Busher. Thankfully, we're on the inside this time for this ARCA restart. And this time I'm going to mean, be mean to Deegan. I did not appreciate that nonsense. And now road course ringer A.J. Allmendinger are very slow in the center there. He looked a bit squirrely. They are three wide already all the way through the pack. This is going to be wild, I think. Oh, I had all that momentum. Had all that momentum, but I had to go for it. I had to look for that look. I had to look for that space. I couldn't get it. De Benedetto is going to give us some help on the bottom here. We are three wide the whole way through the pack, but the pack got a little bit spaced out. I think there was definitely a slowdown in the pack there at some point. But there was definitely, I should say, I don't think, I know there was a big slowdown in the pack. And we are getting absolutely eaten alive now. So we're going to have one lap to go here, presented by Credit One Bank and Lord Co. Auto Parts and Castrol and the Pinty series. But here we go. Getting that run through turn two. Seems like turn two is our best place on this track for whatever reason. Giving to Benedetto a little bit of a shove. Benedetto gets held up by Trevor Bain. Everybody's up to speed. We're at 204 miles an hour. And I think this Lord Co. Auto Parts Toyota's got much more in it than that. We'll sneak down to the inside, try to get Trevor Bain here. That's not even for position. But I'm going to race with him like it's for position. So, oh, no. Kevin Harvick's going to pass. Well, DJ Kennington's going to finish 34th at Daytona. You, you saw it here first. So that was the Daytona 500 or a Daytona duel, whatever you want to call it, through the eyes of DJ Kennington. We couldn't have maple syrup and pancakes in victory lane, but I think it was a great effort from DJ, and I'm wishing him all the luck in the Daytona 500. I'd really like to see him do well, uh, because, uh, of course, I, I kind of like the die cast of that car, but anyway, <laughs> uh, this was fun. Uh, if you'd like to see me do any other videos similar to this, let me know down in the comments, and also let me know if you're a DJ Kennington fan. Are you unironically one? Were you a DJ Kennington fan before it was cool? Uh, let me know. I'd be interested uh, to hear. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been David Land on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more NASCAR Heat and motorsport content. We'll see you in the next video.